Banyan trees grew like an oasis on both sides of the road. It was impossible to know where the road began and where it ended, like a universe without beginning and end. The road disappeared between the thick branches in both directions, as if the foot of the Lord's Vishvarupa had passed. The post office of Rajampat village stood at the point where the east-west road turned to the north. Its door was locked. The post box, which was left hanging by an iron wire on the pillar, looked pitiful like a bewildered orphan. In the distance, a cart swayed gently with the sound of Ladakh Ladakh. The driver shouted AI AI and spurred the cows on. A sweet shop on the other side of the road opposite the post office. There was no one at the door of the shop at that time. Only the sound of swa swa was heard from inside. That noise along with the smell of onions coming from inside the shop advertised that the sweet shop was making ayur masal veda. The birds living in the banyan branch were chirping merrily. And there is the sound of taku taku. Incoming Sriman KP. Banguru Naidu PBM. They are. Don't take BPM for granted. Learn French postmaster. He paid the village postmaster. But his authority is great. His official responsibility is more than that. Let the district collector, let his excellency the governor, their authority does not extend into this post office. Even if the governor asks me to hand over a letter to another, I have the power to say no. Najakar would say with pride. Here comes posted master Banguru Naidu. As soon as the key is inserted into the lock of the post office, the door opens. Banguru Naidu enters his kingdom. But when he crosses the threshold, he stands in awe, unable to step on it. Balakrishnan, the postman, sits calmly inside sorting the mails that arrived yesterday. Balakrishnan, seeing the posted master stunned, asked, Why, sir, are you staring like this? What ghost am I, devil? He asked. You you come come, how did you get in, dad? Asked Banguru Naidu stumbling. I know the Ikshinai trick, sir. I was a disciple of Pitambara Iyer for a while. I can get inside this wall and be out in the blink of an eye. Tell the truth, father. Don't play. What, sir, you ask that? What green child am I to play with? How did you get in the post office when the door was locked? Tell me, father. The door was locked, sir. Did you see, sir? Back. Did I just put the key in and open it? Put the key in and open the lock? But I asked if you opened the door. If you open the lock, don't you open the door, brother? Are you talking mysteriously? There's no mystery, sir. Maybe you were a bit maha yesterday evening or something. You didn't pull the Nathan key and just locked the door. The posted master was a little taken aback and said, Bala Krishna. God has saved you, see. What would have happened if a thief had come in like you did? Saying that, he bowed towards the summit. What's the fate? That thief's destiny is to return empty-handed. What's here, to the thieves? Even so, sir, give me the key to the post box. Taking the key, Balakrishnan opened the post box and took the mails from it. He began to stamp the date tuck 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 on the head stuck to the top of the post. The postmaster, who was counting the stamps in a small tin box, raised his head suddenly and asked, Why, Balakrishna? Have you changed the date correctly? He asked. Balakrishnan stopped stamping and asked, What do you ask, sir? He said. Did you change the date on the stamp correctly? I asked. Today is the 15th, sir. On the 15th. I was right in my suspicions. What a date, sir. 16 dad, 16. Look at the wall in front of you, sir. Dhinakaran's calendar was stuck in the place shown by Balakrishnan. It showed January 15, 1933. Wow. Have you even spent a year looking at this? Then what do you look at? Do you want to put the year, month, and date that the calendar shows and get lost? Okasava. 
Isn't this last year's calendar? Both the year and the date are wrong. Banguru Naidu got up and changed the year and date in the calendar. Now the calendar showed January 16, 1934. On the road a boxcar was pulled by two huge bullocks and was going zoom zoom. Padamani Yamkit of Ayar's carriage is going, sir. Balakrishnan said. Yes, it's already the 16th of January, isn't it? Is it fair to set off for the January collection? Banguru Naidu dropped an old pun. Why, sir? When does a kid a Y girl get married? Do you know? Bala Krishna. What do you care about that? It's worrying. Once the marriage takes place, the child will go to the husband's house. What's wrong with you? Something like this video, the child is coming to Tabalabis at 2 or 3. So the office is a bit lively. If Lalita Purushan goes home, not even a crow will come here. Are you and I supposed to sit puzzled and fly? Sin. Bala Krishna, let a fly come to this office. Why do you want to drive it? What can I do without driving the fly? If I don't drive it, it will stick to all the glue here. Look, sir. When I worked at Dave Apatnam to Balabis, no less than a hundred money orderers would arrive within the seventh day of the month. To whom? To you. What does it come to me for? It comes to the sons of Mavarazan who gave it. What happened to you when someone got a money order? 150 rupees at the rate of half a quarter of a rupee per money order. 150 25. It's a tiger. It's only 150 25 in Devapatnam. It's not even 157 in this poor town. Enough. Enough. Look at the work, Bala Krishna. Thangavelu has arrived. From a short distance outside I heard the sound of jing zing jing jing. The sound came closer to Tabalabis. Runner Thangavelu reached the door of the post office shaking the spear in his hand.